I'm going to start with this one right here. An electron moves along this trajectory from the initial point to the final point, as shown right here. Question, as the electron is moving, does its electric potential increase? I'm sorry, electric potential energy. Does it increase, decrease, or stay the same? Think about that. Next up, if you can answer that, you have to be able to answer this one then. Is the electron's speed at f greater than, less than, or equal to its speed at i? Explain. And here's what I'm going to do. I want you to talk to your neighbors about that. I'm going to call a name out of the box and say, tell me the answer to a. We'll talk that one through. Based on what you answer with a, we're going to go on and answer b. OK? So try it with your neighbors. What's the verdict? Eight. It does increase. Why does it increase? Uh, because it um, is moving out. It's moving away from a positive charge. Right. And so there, there's an attractive force. Mm -hmm. But uh, as, you, as you move further away, there's uh, less of an attractive force. It's going farther away, so the, the force here will be smaller. But I could also say, I'd have to like do work. I'd have to push it. If I want to make it move away, because the, the force is trying to pull it this way, I'm pushing it that way, and so I'd have to do work. And so it is going to a higher electric potential energy. Okay, given that, what can you say about its kinetic energy? It's got to go down. It's got to go down. Speed goes down. So its speed's got to decrease because its kinetic energy is decreasing, and the kinetic energy is just turning to an increased potential energy. So this is a kinetic energy to potential energy problem that you see here. Now I want to make a point. If you move away from the positive charge, the electric potential decreases. Okay, But if you take that negative charge and you move it farther away, as we did here, its electric potential energy increases. And that's because it's a negative charge. And we talked about this. Electrons, negative charges, when they go to lower potential, that's actually higher potential energy. When they go to higher potential, it's actually lower potential energy. They just kind of like go the other way, OK? Now, I want to take a look at something we saw last time. And I want to look at this again. We talked about electron comes off a filament. And then there's an accelerating potential difference between the filament and this plate. This is my low potential. This is my high potential. The electron is going to want to spontaneously move from the low potential to the high potential, right? And if it goes from here to here, it's going to higher potential. What happens to its potential energy? It decreases. The potential energy decreases. Oh, and where does the potential energy go? Kinetic energy. Potential energy decreased in kinetic energy increasing. Question, how much kinetic energy is here? And here's how we're going to solve this problem. We want to just look at the magnitudes. Don't worry so much about the signs. We know the change in electric potential energy is equal to the charge Q times the change in electric potential. OK? That's our relationship for it. So I can put in the charge. And the charge on the electron is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs. We also use the symbol E for that. And the difference in potential, 150 volts, 150 volts. And so I can work this out. We did that last time. But there's another way that we can think about it. And I want to introduce a new unit. And the unit I want to introduce is the electron volts. OK, here's my expression for the change in potential energy for a change in potential, OK? And I want to define this. I want to define an electron volt. One electron volt is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th joules. Suppose I took an electron and I moved it, or I let it move through a potential difference of one volt. If I did that, the change in electric potential energy is just equal to the charge on the electron, which is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th joules. 
I'm sorry, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs times the potential difference. And if it's one volt, that's one volt here. And so the change in electric potential energy, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules, which is one electron volt. So if an electron goes through a potential difference of one volt, its potential energy changes by one electron volt, okay? Question. Electron goes from zero volts to 150 volts here, and we know that it's going to be decreasing in potential energy, and the change in potential energy is equal to the, inc the decrease in potential energy is equal to the increase in kinetic energy as this charge moves. Question, when it gets here, how much kinetic energy does it have? And I want to answer, not in joules. I mean, that was so 15 minutes ago. Now, we're going to answer in our new SASE energy unit, the electron volt. Sounds like a unit of voltage, not a unit of voltage. It's a unit of energy, the electron volt. From here to here, what's the kinetic energy when it gets here? In electron volts. Talk to your neighbors about that. I'll call a name out of the box to give us an answer. Brett, what do you got? 2.4 times 10 to the negative 17. Joules? Well, we're not doing it in joules. We're doing it in Vol electron, volts. electron volts. Oh, yeah. And you don't even have to do a calculation. Just tell me. Evolve this answer out of your consciousness. Zero volts to 150 volts. If an electron goes to a potential difference of one volt, the change in potential energy is one electron volt. I have an electron that goes through a potential difference of 150 volts. The potential energy changes by 150, 150 electron volts. So how much kinetic energy does it have at this point? It lost potential energy, and it lost 150 electron volts of potential energy. How much kinetic energy does it gain? 150 electron volts. 150 electron volts. OK? Let's do another one like this. How about in this case? The electron accelerates here. How much kinetic energy does it have at this point? 100 electron volts. Well done. And see, see how much easier that is? You can just get this. Oh, and we better just do one more, just to be sure. How about this one? How much kinetic energy does it have? What do you got? 500 electron volts. The only trick is, if you, have to change, if you have to do some sort of calculation that involves like velocities, that has to be in joules. But besides that, we're going to do energies in electron volts. And it's a really, really useful unit of energy. 